Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to our Be A Pro series, which is basically where we try and become the best player we can. Basically the best player in the world. We want to become 90 rated at the very least. That is the aim, that's the target. As you can see, we're 70 rated at the moment. We've got 20 rating still to go. Long, long way to go. We've improved by 4 by 4. Our pox value has got up by 116% to 2.6 million at the moment. Obviously playing at Blackpool in League 2. And uh, next game, Hobie gets cut off. So we're going to get straight to that. We are picked for the starting lineup again, which you would think we would be, seeing as we seem to be a lot better than most of our teammates. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can come up with a couple of winners today, score a few goals, just have some great, uh, some great games. Better than the last couple of episodes, because we haven't been doing that well, haven't been playing that well. So I want to get, try to get more involved, more of the ball, and uh, hopefully get more goals. Because that is the ultimate goal, if you like. So yeah, here we go, Carla United at home. Hopefully we can get a win. We're doing, oh, we've had a pretty decent start to the season. So hopefully that will continue. Maybe promotion, you never know. So without any further ado, let's get into the game and let's see how we do. Okay, we've got a good pass out there. Oh, it's gone out wide. We're in the box. Can we get us into this? No, we can't. To be fair, it wasn't a bad pass. They just played it to the wrong. Oh my god, Carlisle got a shot. I thought our defender there should have tackled him. But they got a shot away. Well off target though. Because I didn't want that. Because I expected the pass to come to me because I asked for it. And now Carlisle on the counter attack. They've got a nice ball through. Can they get the ball into the box? They can. There's a good header away. Good defensive clearance. Oh, we've gone around him. Plays it in. Oh! Good clearance. We almost got in there. Got it before it. Okay, I, I should be taking corners because these corners are terrible. Oh, we couldn't quite get onto that. Like, what was that? Go on, shoot. Nil-nil. <laughs> Absolutely terrible game. It was nothing happened. Midfield battle, just scraps. Like, if like we came forward, they got tackled. They just lost what to do with it. And if Carlisle came forward, basically, the def our defence was kind of too good for them. and just kept tackling them. So yeah, a bit of a midfield scrap. See, look at that. That just shows everything that happened. Match highlights. <laughs> Apparently, that's it. So um, yeah, literally no. I don't even think we had. a... am pretty sure we didn't have a shot in that game. Finished nil nil. I mean, at least we didn't lose. We got a point. I guess that's something to build on. But yeah, nothing more to say about that game. To be fair, just nil nil. Okay, let's do some more training. Improve, improve, improve. That's all we can need. That's all we can keep doing. Long shots have gone up, nice. We've got an effort though. Okay, let's advance. Not sure who we've got next. We'll find out. Oh, Cheltenham. We have Cheltenham Town. I assume that'd be away because we were home the last game. Let's have a little look. When it comes, we've got a message. Put you in the starting line. We're in the starting line again. Players leaving on international duty, okay. Someone for India. Okay. Objectives. Okay, we're just on that one. Oh, that's our seasonal seasonal objective, isn't it? I actually want to look at accomplishments. I want to see what we can try and do to improve ourselves. Like ball skills. Like beating players with dribble. Okay, one more. We get a dribbling up. Beating players with skill. Just beat, complete crosses. Man of the matches. Key passes. Just completing matches. Just beating players with the dribble, basically. Okay, and scoring. Okay, just basically just dribbling and dribbling past players, using skill, and uh, scoring goals, getting shots on targets. Pretty much how we are uh, improving that area by the looks of it. So we're going to do that. We're actually going to play in this kit against Cheltenham. <laughs> Away from home this time. I mean, last time I said we want to do a lot better, but um. Yeah, it didn't really happen in that game. So we'll see what we can do in this game. I'm tempted to change the cam, like all that centre mid to try and be more involved with the play and link it up a bit more. Um, let me know what you guys think about that, because I'm tempted to do that just to get more involvement in the game, probably uh, have more impact, and uh, maybe more chance of making things happen. So yeah, that could be something for the future. 
that we can change that position. But for the time being, we're a static striker. Let me know, guys, let me know what you think about me doing that down below. Obviously, if we're a can, we can still get forward and try and score goals, but also a lot more involvement in linking up the play. So, yeah, that's one thing about doing that. But for now, yeah, for standing as a striker, let's get to the game against Cheltenham. Let's hopefully get a win this time and actually get it to a goal at last because we're going through a bit of a goal trap moment and I don't like it. Shoot! Oh my god, straight at the keeper. He should have scored. Oh my god, we've got tackling and of course it always goes miles away when we tackle. Okay, I'm on side. We're in behind. Plays it in. We've got a score. Oh my god, he's missed. Oh my god, he's missed. We won't get a better chance than that probably the whole game. I can't believe he's just missed this. Outside the boot, use the inside of the boot, pass it across again, and we've scored. Lay it off at the edge of the box, he's passed it back to us, I'm not really sure why. Oh my god, we, we just ran away through, oh, we shot a take a deflection. Oh my god, that's a great chance for ourselves. Cheltenham's defence seemed to fall asleep there. Oh my god, we're on absolute form. Try to slip a ball through, it's a great ball by us, get in there. We've scored. We've got an assist as well. Oh, my God. Finally, we just get a breakthrough. and <laughs> a Brilliant ball through from us here. He got on the end of it. And that's a, a great finish. Great finish. <laughs> and we're actually 1-0 up. Come on. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to go through to us. But it's another good effort for us. Well, I'm fully on top now. Fully on top. Let's see if we can do it from a corner. Look at Chatham not even had a shot yet. We've had six. I've done him. Can we get a shot away? Yeah, oh my god, what a great goal. What a great goal. A couple of stovers turned back the other way, got past him, and it's a great goal. It's actually our first long shot goal as well. Long shots have gone up. Get in there, what a goal. We've actually got a we've ended a goal drought. I don't really know how many games there was. Maybe three games or so we didn't score for. Maybe, might have been less than that. I don't know. I think, I've, for some reason, I think it was about three games. But that's a great strike by us. We're turning up. The three points are going back to Blackpool. Finished. There's the end of the game, guys. And we've actually finished, I believe, a race of 9.3, which is pretty incredible. An assist and a goal to a name. And a very good strike as well. Indeed to a name there. There's all our player performance stuff. If you want to look at that in more detail. But yeah, we've got a very nice goal. We set up a nice goal. Race of 9.3. A goal and assist. Great performance. Best performance for a little while, and we surely would have got man of the match in that game for sure. And uh, let's just have a little look. Yep, we did get man of the match. So that's very, very nice. What a what a great great game. Great game. Great performance by us. We've got a lot more involved, a lot more chances. Deserved the goal to be fair ourselves. And uh, yeah, back in the score sheet, back with a win, back with the three points. Could have gone any better. End of the game, must be training time. And it is. <laughs> Here we go. Attacking position has gone up to 71. Dribbling has gone up to 68. Very, very, very nice. Okay, slowly getting up to the 71 races. Slowly but surely, we will get this very, very soon. May even get there this episode. Haven't got that far to go. So maybe after this game, it could be there. Could be there. Depends on where we form, I guess. Oh, scores. Oh my god, guys. I was just reading that. The news bit. Uh, how do we get back onto that? How do we get back to the news? We can't actually see it now. I don't know if you saw that, guys, but literally go back in the video about three seconds, four seconds, whenever it was, when it was about it, it said it was our first goal for eight games. Eight games. Oh, my goodness. We don't want that happening again. So, uh, yeah, next game, Barnet. We're going to play in that kit. We're in our orange kit. Back to orange kit. Back at home. And, um, yeah, Blackpool Barnet at home. Hopefully another three points. Let's see what we can do. Okay, is he going to swing that in? Yes, he is, but not to us. Oh, my God, that's a great turn. Oh, my God, he's hit the post. Oh, my goodness, what a turn. Inside, and he's smashed the outside of the post. Ran a great ball. Can he find us? He can. We've got round the outside of him. This is our chance. Get in there. We've scored. 
we've taken the lead against Barnett by one goal to nil. We managed, the defender seems to just dive in in the inside of us. We managed to turn around the outside of him and smash it home past the keeper. We got another goal. That's two and two for us now. A bit of a rarity, but we've done it. We're one 0 against Blackpool. Oh, one 0 against Blackpool. We are Blackpool. One 0 against Barnet is what I mean. Oh, this is a great bit of run for us. We're actually going to strike this. Oh, it's been deflected. It's came back. Oh, the volley. Oh. Barnett coming forward. Oh, that's a good tackle. Could we break? Play me. That's it. Here we go. Inside. Oh, what a save. Can we get the rebound? No, we can't. Oh, my goodness. Incredible defending there by Barnett. But we should have been 2 0 up. And corners are really bad, so this is going to be boring. Turns back. Pass it back. In it goes. They're looking for the little ball. They go for goal. Again, terrible effort by themselves. But there we go. It doesn't matter, guys, because it has finished. And the full time result is, as you can see, oh, got man of the match again. Five man of the matches. That's very nice. Very nice. All oh, penalties have gone up too. We don't normally get a lot of penalties, so that's not that uh, not that needed. But nevertheless, we're beating Barnet by one goal to nil. Ourselves scoring the winner midway through the first half. Getting a nice finish on there. 8.3 rated again, very nice. Getting up above our average rating needed for the whole season of 8. So we're, so we're going to keep pushing on, keep going. Let's have a look at what happened. Is the match stats? Oh, we completely dominated Barnet there. With them have, themselves only having the two efforts, which I probably showed you. Absolutely woeful efforts for both of them. We fully dominated the game, fully the better team, fully deserved the victory. And we got the three points, 1-0 victory. Okay, 10th episode, we're just going to do our training. Our training drills, as we always do, of course. Cat down for five, got to zero. Oh, four Bs. Interesting. Short passes went up. Oh, we are. We're right. We're seventy-one rated now. We have gone up a rating this episode to seventy-one. Let's just advance to our next game, which, as you can see there, is going to be against Mansfield Town. Is that going to be away? Oh, then we got Portsmouth. Actually, that's going to be an interesting game. Little uh, coast derby there, even though Blackpool's like up here and Portsmouth's down here, but they're both on the coast, so we'll call it a coast derby. Um, in that sense, even though they're not that close to each other. But it doesn't matter because we have Mansfield away as our next game, and as you can see, our player development, our stats are going up and up and up, absolutely incredible. But obviously, the higher rate we go, the higher the higher it starts to get to get higher ratings, to get um obviously push higher up. So yeah. Eventually, it will start to slow down a little bit, but at the moment, we're pushing on well, getting those stats up really well, and yeah, that's pretty much it, to be fair. So, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you're enjoying Beer Pro. Um, if you are, let me know. Um, sometimes, sometimes we do, like, I get lots of chances in games. Sometimes, some games, like the first game in this episode, they just don't seem to be that great. just seems to be pretty much just a midfield scrap and not really much happens, so... I apologise for that, but obviously the last two games were much better um, for ourselves as well, getting two goals. And uh, yeah, back of the score sheet, that top goal scorer for the League 2 is coming to us. That is the aim, that's another target of ours. Can we get that top top goal scorer of League 2 this season? Who knows, but we're going to have to start scoring, the, scoring consistently as we have done this episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, that made any sense. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.